Welcome to Chase Talks. My name's Chase, broadcasting to you from the Galar region. Today we're going to be continuing our journey through Galar as we venture down Route 6, heading towards our fourth gym badge. With no further ado, I'll go ahead and cut it. So we are in the episode. Hopping in to right where we left off. In the last episode, we battled some Team Yell Grunts right about here. And we're trying to help a Pokemon sleep, but I was like, no! Evil team, you did not let that Pokemon sleep. I shall wake it up! So being the good Samaritan that I am, I beat Team Yell down and woke up that Sandacombra. 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 Oh my gosh, I just realized I didn't switch from the catching team. I went and caught some new Pokemon. You can see I caught a Haunter, Shift Tree, Mudsdale, Munchlax, stuff like that. And this guy, who's the one that is the Pokemon. Man, I didn't switch away from my catching team, so let me do that real quick. Um, oops. Yeah, and you might notice that some of our Pokemon are a level or two up from the last episode. That's because I did catch some Pokemon in between this episode and the last one. You know, I had to check the weathers and see how... What new Pokemon were appearing in the wild area with the weather. So I got a Growlithe, too, and stuff like that. And we're catching up in this Pokemon battle. My super cute Pokemon is interested in your Pokemon. Kind of just wants to suck your Pokemon dick. <laughs> Then on a Kefiri. Kefiri, Kefiri, Kefiri. Our son. All right, let's hit him with a Rock Tomb. That's some damage. Now that's a lot of damage. Metronome, oh no. Facade. Okay, well, good thing I didn't hit it with a status move. Also, I don't have one. That's what I'm talking about. That's how we two-shot a Kefiri. Goodbye, Kefiri. A Kefiri, Kefiri, you. Yeah. Ichimaru and Gold Diaz leveled up. That's what I'm talking about. A Clefable. Hmm, why don't we have Ichimaru Gen fight this Clefable? He is our Poison Master. Poison Master. Of the Soul Society. And Aizen's forces. And I guess the Espada again, kind of? Alright, let's hit it with an acid. More Metronome. Safeguard. Not too worried about safeguard. I'm more worried about explosion. <laughs> well, that did zero damage. Hit it with an acid again. Don't blow yourself up. Don't blow yourself up. Night gaze. What's that even? Diet days. What's that even do? Uh, it gave me a rattle boost. That's what it did. And it did no damage. Oh wait, whoa, 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 wait, what happened? It didn't look like I took any damage at first and now I'm in the red. Come on, come on, pick Growl or something. Psybeam, that's super effective. Ah, uh, Rip Ichimaru. Ichimaru, you need to evolve. You kind of suck right now. Um, why don't we let Odin finish this off? Come on, Odin. You kind of got whomped by those other fairies being our seal type and all. Hopefully you can redeem yourself against this fairy. And then watch it get, like, Gigantamax Flare Attack. Belly Drum! Hey, there you go. That's what I'm talking about, Odin. That is my Meowth right there doing that. That's how you're be a uh, MF and Viking, yeah. 
Now I do need to revive Ichimaru again. Otherwise Ichimaru is going to get zero EXP, which will not be good. Oops, I meant to. Go to bag. If I don't revive him, he's going to get no EXP as we battle trainers and stuff down this route. Which is not going to be good towards getting him to evolve. And I think he evolves in level 30, so we've got to be close. Oh, I already got that Pokemon? What is that thing? What did I just run into? A Torkoal? I don't know if I have a Torkoal. Oh, I have caught a Torkoal. Okay, I can run then. I didn't know I caught a Torkoal. Is that Diglett? Oh, it's a Doug Trio. I don't think I've caught Doug Trio either. I have not caught Doug Trio. All right, let's try to not one-shot Doug Trio. Bulldoze, that's super effective. Oh gosh. Does it have arena trap? Oh wait, oh wait, that's gonna be neutral because I'm also fire. Oh, I can't switch out, dang it. Maybe I can catch it in a lucky great ball without a KO ink mail. Uh oh. Rip Kameo. Man, did my Pokemon get under leveled at some point? Like, what happened? Huh? I feel like I'm facing all these Pokemon in the 30s, and my Pokemon is just now hitting 30. Come on, Dreamin', don't give it up, Nami. Jeez. Sucker Punch. Alright, let's try another Great Ball. Oh gosh, I'm out of Great Balls. Dusk ball. I wonder if since it's not night on this route right now, I wonder if it counts. I am recording this at night. Oh, nope, it does not look like it counts. Alright, I guess we're going to use a regular Pokeball. Come on, regular Pokeball. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I have such bad catching luck whenever I'm recording an episode. I need to stop trying to catch Pokemon while recording episodes because I have such terrible catching luck during an episode. And I know this is a bad idea because it has ground type moves and Odin is a steel type, but whatever. Alright, let's use a timer ball. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Timer Ball. Very cool. That's why I bought like 30 of you. Oh my gosh, I need to go like heal. I don't want to use more revives and stuff because I feel like I'm going to need them later on. Jeez, though, getting wrecked. Getting rickety wrecked. Oh, hey. Also, we sent Pokemon and jobs last time, didn't we? So you can check those jobs as long as I'm here in the Pokemon Center. Hey, 
they're completed. Welcome back, guys. Woo! Great job! Your Pokemon came back from the job. It seems like your Pokemon did an exceptional job. They received lots of experience for doing a great job. The client seems happier uh, than you were to help you. Cutie Fly wants to give me something. 900 Poke Dollars. Cool. Thank you, Cutie Fly. Very cool. Welcome back, Ice Types and a small Mammoth Swine that was walking in place for some reason. The Pokemon came back from the job. It seems like they did an exceptional job. It was XP. Cubshoe's got something for me. Two heal balls. Thank you, Cubshoe. Very cool. Building a solid car. Solid, steady ground type Pokemon. Hmm. I think I got four ground type Pokemon I can give this guy. How about that Doug Trio that just wrecked my face? Uh, what else? Oh, we got Digger, Digger's Buddy. And we got Drillbur. And what else we got? Who else? Oh, and, and Silicobra. I don't want to give him that one. Why don't I send the Mammoth Swine that we just sent? And there we go. Full day. And let's see what happens. Goodbye, Drillbird, Doug Trio. Man, that Doug Trio is as big as friggin' Mammoth Swine. Why is the Mammoth Swine so friggin' small? Need to buy some great balls. I ran out. 20 is good enough. Okay, let's head back to round six. Oh my gosh. Just not gonna catch any Pokemon. Just gonna go straight through. I'll come back later with my catching team. Because, you know, stuff like what was happening in that battle against Doug Trio happens like every single frickin' time I try and catch a Pokemon. It's so irritating. How do I get up there? Well, not this way, clearly. This is how I'm gonna fish. I don't know what spawns in there, nor do I really care. Okay, let's do this double battle. Time for a jackup. I didn't really read that on time. He won an Evelyn. Still type in a fairy type. Okay, well I can hit Togetic with a waterfall and then I can smash him with a Oh no, I want to use double kick, it's four times effective, because he's a dark steel type. That's what I'm talking about. That moment when a trainer battles easier than freaking catching a Pokemon. Happens every time. And let me guess, he's going to get boosted. Oh no, he didn't get boosted. I was like, I think that's the first time in this entire playthrough that a um enemy has he used ancient power and not got the boosts hey we got a crit looks like our luck is turned around <laughs> nice that's some good level ups What is real strange? I I wasn't reading what they were saying, so I decided to make fun of it at the end. Hello, lady. 
I came from far away to watch Gym Challenge. I love the opportunity to battle a Gym Challenger. You are challenged by Backpacker Dialy Day Diana. Swack! That's a bad matchup for Kameo. I actually don't really have a good Pokemon for fighting types, period, to be honest. Let's just hit him with a waterfall. And hope he doesn't hit me with a fire type move that like one shots me. Why am I still using Kameo? Well, that's not good. Um, what? A headbutt, maybe? Well, that's not good. Especially after the ball cup, that's not good. Oh, I don't have any Pokemon that can take on a fighting type, though. You guess I'll have to use Sizzles? When Sizzles evolve? I should look that up. I don't know when Sizzle Feed evolves in the Sense Court. Um, Flame Wheel? Man, that plus two. Oh, he almost one shot me, even though it's not very effective because he's at plus two. The crit and he barely lived. Oh, but he got burned. Oh, the burn takes him out. Oh my gosh, that was lucky. Hey, Odin leveled up too. Nice. And so did Sizzles. Oh, speaking of which. <laughs> I have the window sizzle beat evolve. I was gonna Google it, and guess what? He evolves into Senescorch right there. That's what I'm talking about. Congratulations. My sizzles evolved. Senescorch's data will be added to Pokedex. When it heats up, its body temperature reaches about 1,500 degrees Fahrenheit. That's really hot. It lashes its body like a whip and launches itself at enemies. What? Two of all evolutions back to back. Odin's evolving too. This is just the episode of evolutions. That is amazing. Look at Perserker. Congratulations, you're Odin evolving to Perserker. Perserker's Adam. <laughs> what appears to be an iron helmet is actually hardened hair. This Pokemon lives for the thrill of battle. That's pretty awesome. I want to learn Iron Head. Nice. Yes. Iron Head is much better than Metal Claw. Because Metal Claw is only 50 with a 95. And this is 80 with a 100. So, oops. So, it's much better. Much, 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 much better. That's what I'm talking about. Look at these. Let's look at this evolutionness happening. Amazing, simply amazing. Hey, there's a gateway point. Gateway point. I mean, um, not gateway. Freaking fast travel point. You got dig there. Oh, I didn't mean to do this. That's okay though. fighting Pokemon and stuff. Is this all her Pokemon? That's my only Pokemon right there. beating me up <laughs> it's pushing back Dredna come here Dredna oh you're good Dredna 
Oh, the good one, come here, the Oh, the good one, oh, the good one, oh, the good one, you're good one, oh, good for that. All right, let's cook, I guess. Uh, want to cook? Start cooking. Why don't we use some orange berries? They're not very useful. Mm. Mix in two cherry baby, baby, baby. Two cherry babies. <laughs> Let's add in one of these for flavor. I guess two of them, sure. And uh, what about a chesto for good luck? And yep, let's do it. I call this orange chesto stew. I can fly faster than anyone. I can fly Give it a good stir. Oh, I can stir so fast. I can stir faster than all of you can. Look at me stir. Look at me stir. Look at me stir. <laughs> oh my god, I stir so fast. I make stir and look like I look like it's my day job. <laughs> Woo. Gotta put in love. A secret ingredient, love. Look at all those Pokemon that aren't mine. Spicy fried food curry, nice. <laughs> I like what Dreadnought looks like. I got a milk milkery rating, whatever that means. All right, let's leave the camp. Hey, Jimaru leveled up, nice. Names. Name's Carol West. I'm a researching fossil, huh? Hmm? You got the fossils there, huh? Will you show them to me? Yeah, sure. Which fossil do you think stands out to our standards of Cat West? A fossilized bird. Which fossil do you think will procure the curiosity of Carol West? Uh, the fossilized dino? I mean, those are my only options. So, I should restore the fossilized bird or the fossilized dino together, huh? Sure. Okay, I will drive the dino, so I'll reveal the mystery of the fossils. Alright, I'll stick them together. Here we go! Objective complete. It seems the restoration was a great success. Yes, I can see it in its eyes. This is a Pokemon that walks the face of Galar in ancient times. Please take care of the Pokemon, huh? Arctozolt? Oh, is that the cool? Oh, that's the ice electric one. Man, I was kind of hoping it would be the, um... Oh, man, this thing's existence just looks painful. I mean, look at how frozen it looks on its, its head. The shaking of its freezing upper half is what generates its electricity. It has a hard time walking around. That's really that's really sad, actually. Um, oh man, though, I was hoping that uh, it was the elect. I was hoping that the Dino fossil was the Dragon one, but I guess that's a Draco fossil. Nope, I'll just send it to my box. We don't need to use that thing. I was hoping it was the dragon, one of the dragons, but I, I guess it's not the, I guess I didn't use the right fossil. 
That's okay though. I don't I don't have a dragon the Drago fossil yet. Or whatever it's called. Oh light clay, that's good. Alright, let's go over here. Uh oh, we ran into a glaring mask. Let's hit it with a bite attack. It's crafty shield, I've never heard of that before. Hey, it's still my shell armor. Well, I whomped it, so it doesn't matter. Did steal my ability, though. Not very nice, you mask. You shouldn't steal things that don't belong to you. Oh, what's this? Two rare bones. Wasn't there a TM this way? Oh, can I not come back this way? Oh, a steel wing. That's kind of cool. Very useless move. Oh, dang. She saw me. Are you making curry? Are you filling your curry decks? I'm not really trying to fill my curry decks at all. No, I'm sorry. Backpack of Ruth. Then I'll throw on. Or throw, I mean. I'll throw on. It sent out the Admiral of the Chess. <laughs> really the Admiral of the Galactic Empire. He also happens to be a Chess. Oh my gosh, I don't even know why I'm fighting this. I'm gonna get whomped right here. Yep, this is why I need to switch out. Uh, let's use our newly evolved Sizzles. Well, that's not good. Alright, let's have Gold DA hit him with a flame charge. That was a good hit. Good job, Goldie Ace. Oh, he's gonna hit us out of bounds, though. See you later, throw. <laughs> Welcome back, Sizzles. Long time no see. Hit him with a flame wheel. I don't know what that is. That was a crit, apparently. That did, like, no damage, though. Same with a bug bite. Nom, 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 <laughs> That should be the sound effect of bug bite. It's like, nom, 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 Kind of like Stewie when he was eating the uh, peanut butter. He's like, nom, 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 That's an old family episode. All right, we smash and smash and smash Ruth there really quick. All right, there's something over here. Let's see what it is. Oh, a rare candy. That's nice. A lot of glaring new masks. Glaring new mask, by the way, is like the weirdest evolution ever. It's got to like take an exact certain amount of damage, and then you like run it in an archway, and then it evolves into Runiclus. A Runiclus, I mean. Alright, before I do that, I'm going to move Kameo. Oh, I meant to swap it with Gold the Ace. Pokemon is R2. Eyes, we give, we'll give it our all. <laughs> ah, I just don't on! Ah! 
<laughs> he had such like an ah face. Neutralizing gas, okay. It's fine. I didn't want to fart anyway. I'll just set your gas on fire. Set your gas on fire again. Yeah, sure. Now I'll switch to. Oh no, Kameo's so weak though. Oh no, it's so weak though. I don't know what I want to do. Uh, I guess I can switch to Sizzles. Oh wait, but Pseudowood is a rock type, isn't it? Yeah, this isn't good. I'm about to get wrecked. Um, oh, yeah. I'm about to die. Yeah, that was a mistake. I'm sorry, Sizzles. That was a bad mistake. That's okay, though. Now I can send out a fully healed Kameo. I should just switch into like Nami or something and let Nami take the hit. Okay, I can beat you now pretty easily. Man, Kameo does like zero damage and Waterfall is not a bad move either. Waterfall is a really good water type move. Why does Kameo do such little damage? Hey, come on, Kameo. Gosh, I can't believe I took three shots. Why is Kameo so weak? God moves were beautiful. Oh my. I'm completely fascinated by him. <laughs> he had such a straight face too. Like you went from being like so like crazy yelling excited. Look at those diglets. That's weird. And hey, we made it through Route 3. Or route 6. Did I say the Route 3? I'm going crazy. That was Route 6. Oh, we're going to have to face the Fighting Gym. Oh no, we're going to get whomped by the Fighting Gym. What do we have to face Fighting Types? I'm pretty sure the answer is nothing. My, I mean, this badge might be up to Centiscorch. Hello, can I buy... Oh, I can't even buy them yet. Yeah, I don't know. I'm really, I really don't know what we're gonna do. Just getting here was so satisfying. I can't imagine what thing the rooms will feel like. Yeah, I don't know either. We're using Mural to bring more buildings to town. Actually, we've been doing that for a long time now. Every time I see the runes, I'm enamored of them. Why are they so appealing to me, I wonder? And you two sound very similar, did you know that? Check, check. Welcome, have a look at bargains. Today's bargain. Today's bargain is cracked pot. It's 3,000. You want? Sure. Okay, you take. Next bargain. Okay, it's chip pot. Anything else? I am going to get the chip pot. Anything else?
Hey, how are you doing? Errand for me? If you come during today, I give you a good reward. I bring you bow margin for further 5,000. The bow margin for 25,000? Yes. Okay, here is the reward. Thank you. 25,000. Come back tomorrow and I might have big thing more interesting for you. <coughs> Trying to talk to the girl. And it keeps talking to the Pokemon. Whatever, I guess I can't talk to that girl. Zubidus. Zubidus, zubidus, Um, um, where is your mouth? Zubidus, zubidus, zubidus. It's in my... It's underneath me. You are in my mouth. <laughs> Come on, let's play with Brunzo. Nice. Alright, well, I think this is going to be it for this episode. What are you ladies in here doing? Gotta keep stirring the pot, make sure it doesn't burn, and another also doesn't spill. Temperature control is very important, and for cooking, you need to eat food early, otherwise you'll get sick, young lady. Okay, oh, what's over here? Oh, there's a Pokeball right there. Oh, there's something right there, too, that I just passed. Oh, a rocky helmet, nice. I was down here though, I passed it. <coughs> Three rare bones, nice. Okay, well, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. In this episode, we went through Route 6, and we got all the way to our next gym battle. So in the following episode, we're going to talk to Hop that I was totally ignoring that was standing right there. <laughs> we're going to talk to him and probably get our fourth badge out of the way, or at least attempt to get it out of the way. Hopefully, Sizzles can pull through it, because <laughs> I think our team's going to have a lot of difficulties facing against the fighting-type gym. But we also have Raboot to give us some backup just in case Sizzles can't hang. So thanks for watching. Remember to rate the video, comment the video, and subscribe so you don't miss another episode of Chase Talks. And until next time, this is Chase, signing off.